okay let us continue where we left off in the first video so when i click on delete i am setting a token over here with this format my my idea is to i'll then run a search on top of this input lookup to exclude the city name and also i'll set another token here for my auto refresh functionality i'll give the name of this token auto refresh okay and then i'll set this rename comment as run one now this is very interesting one rename, rename comment as something in anything you can give is basically used when you comment out some uh, portion of the search okay so now this also comes into very handy way when you want to run some dummy search okay so if i if i use this particular token here okay auto underscore refresh okay so it's basically my search will become input lookup world cities then search name not equals to that name and then rename comment as ran then this one okay then i will do output lookup my lookup files name lookup file name okay now before output lookup as i said in my previous videos output lookup will take all the query result from till this point and update the lookup file okay i don't want this delete column will go to that lookup so what i will do fields minus delete okay so so now so my my search query is becoming like this and my drill down i have already set up the token now let's see what's going on here if you see here when i click on save it's saying search is waiting for input why because if you see over here these two tokens i have used in my search but these two tokens do not have any initial values so splunk does not know what is the values so it, it is not able to uh, run the search because these two tokens are set only when there is a drill down i click on delete so i need some initial value of those two tokens so to do that what i will do i'll create a two hidden text boxes okay i'll show you how to do that i'll click on edit i'll add input text box okay the value of these two text boxes will be now i'll go to source see my two text box has been added my token value will be deleted city and auto refresh okay so this two token i'll say set it out and i'll give some default value sorry this will be my field 2 will be my auto refresh and it will be deleted city okay now my default value for this token for deleted city i can give star for my auto refresh i'll give default equals to rename comment as run now if you see i give run over here run one over here that means when i am drilling down i am basically slightly changing this token so this will allow splunk because this token is getting changed this will allow splunk to rerun the query again and when it will rerun based on this deleted city token value it will exclude that particular token from the search result so 
the, when it will refresh those particular row will not be visible. So, same way I will add these two token to my drop down as well. Okay. So, now let us test it out. Okay. So, So, so this is my this is my uh, dashboard currently looks like. So, if you see here the source. So, what 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 we did is we set we set these two tokens and then based on that two tokens, I am setting this up. Okay, I made a slight change over here in this particular uh, query, where uh, I had to remove this. Uh, field minus delete because what will happen if you give field minus delete then output lookup the delete column won't be present in the lookup file so while reading that lookup it will it will not create at all it will not give any values to the delete rows okay so so now now as you see this these two draw, uh, these two text boxes are showing up in the ui so to hide these two text boxes what i'll do is make them hidden. So, to do that Splunk has this tag called sorry this feature called depends. Okay. It is attribute and if you give dollar dollar hidden it will hide the corresponding op menu or row anywhere you can use it. Depends equals to hidden. So, this two input will be hidden now. I click on save. So, those two inputs are not coming up now. Okay, I will just refresh my dashboard, then we will test it out the feature. Okay. So, if I click on here, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. When I click on delete here, so, Wolfsburg I have created on delete. So, that uh, Wolfsburg has been removed from the lookup. Also, this particular panel has been refreshed to remove that Wolfsburg as well. And if you see from the drop down as well, that particular city name has been vanished. Now, let us click on delete of this row, Wells, delete. Again, same thing is happening. It is ref auto automatically refreshing this particular panel and drop down, and removing this that row from the lookup as well. So this is how you manipulate lookup from the Splunk UI, as well as you achieve the auto refreshing functionality of of the drop down as well as any of the Splunk panel by using a conditional drill down. See you in next videos.